Hello everybody, welcome to this playthrough for a pro and expert at division for the province playoffs tournament here in Gold Clash the game. This is an extra 18-hole tournament, and yes, I say extra because we normally do have a 9-hole cup during this week. But we do have an extra 18-hole tournament, and we will see what will happen with the schedule in Gold Clash in the future. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this uh, what can we call it proposed change or trial or or just a mistake whatever let me know in the comment section below what you believe uh it will what will happen and also what you think uh, about what will happen as well it would be very interesting to hear your thoughts before we have a closer look at all the videos here i want to say one extra thing and that is that these replays here do not have the extra win we do have extreme wins as a modifier which is in my opinion um not maybe the most fun modifier but what happens is that the win will basically almost double it will increase a lot which means that you will be receiving wins that you may not be used to in the division that you are playing like for an example in master we do have a 7.2 to 8.6 as wind with a wind fireball that's going to be 10.4 to 12.3 instead so that's a pretty massive difference which means that drops are going to be more rare so people getting the hole in one people getting the albatross it will not be in the same extent as we would be with a normal tournament so for those of you that do want to have a good chance uh, to have a top spot in this tournament we will provide ultimate tournament text guide for opening and weekend round for expert and master division we do not provide an ultimate tournament text guide for the qualifying round in any division we will be back for the opening round and to get into the action with that you scan the qr code here on the screen or go directly to patreon.com slash gold clash tommy anyone that do have the nine hole cup package or the regular 18 hole package will get access to that content for this video if you do want to follow along with the suggestions here on the specific holes that you will see then you can follow the info box on the right hand side to get the club distance information um and also the elevation suggestion the club uh, the, the ball and the club that i suggest you to play with then you have that there on the side and in the end if you do have any questions you can reach out to me on social media at any time let's jump all the way into hole one Hole number one, start with the quarterback yeah, and don't add spin. We're looking at the top of plus nine to also then have the second bounce to be approximately, I would say, one third of a ring uh, by the bunker uh, to right spin. And then we're going to set top spin based off what wind angle we're having. And why is that important? It's because if we do have too little top spin, we're going to get stuck in the rough. If we have too much top spin, we're going to roll over the green into the rough on the back and obviously that's difficult in in a scenario like this and we're doing our best to compensate obviously 2.25 ball right curl we're using um a kingmaker here you can see that i'm playing with a completely slow needle and that's something that i really want to focus on here you don't have to play with a kingmaker you can play with uh, any power three plus ball but the, dif the difference between playing with a kingmaker which is a power three ball and a power four or a power five ball would be that if you are always playing with a power four and power five ball you will always have a slow needle even in the most severe headwind angles where off the kingmaker ball you will have some shake uh, a slight shaky needle if you do have headwind angle now i did hit the pin i'm not expecting this one to drop i'm ex i'm hoping and expecting myself to be on the green every single time or at least close to it Start with a basic ball and your quarter back. This, as we do want to have a three backspin and three backspin only. We're going to have the inner ring to be just by the edge of the rough line with a ball guideline through the hole with the spins applied. Now, we're going to make an adjustment that's going to be medium distance with a 10% over adjustment power two ball settings. And then we're going to obviously do wind angle tweaks based off different wind angles that we are having ensure to have no 1159 here in my opinion 1159 will pull you further back and then you will lose distance and then you risk getting into the bunker that is below the rough but if everything goes as planned it hits the rough 
gets up and we are dropping it nicely for an hole in one. This is a tough par three, especially with an angle like this, we're bouncing on the pad that is before the water. It's not really the best way to do it because it's so hard to control the the, the push from the tailwind, then the rough bump is the one to be applied. So we recommend to play with a wind three or a wind four ball, doesn't have to be a power three. That's up to you to decide what type of power you wanna use. For option number one on hole number three, we're going to send it and we're going to try to do it as simple as possible. We're not going to adjust anything. Stretch out to max with the blue ring by the rough line with Apoc 8, obviously standard overlap as to the other Apocs. This is for Apoc 5 plus needs to be set as well. Then we're pulling back and we're doing that with the ball guidelines straight and we're pulling back to the specific plus yardage that is mentioned in the guide. Two left spin and whatever top spin uh, that is based on wind strength. Now, we're not, again, we're not adjusting anything. We're gonna go one ball right and try to hit uh, max over power, perfect. Great left is definitely better than a great right because a great, I mean, a great right is not gonna be any danger, but it's going to most likely end up into the bunker as you can see there. Sure, you could maybe tweak and go with a little bit more top spin if you wanna push it, but we like this controlled way to hit the rough, roll out, and then have a wedge towards the in. This is a shot as well where wind zero ball is preferred. However though, if you do have a high wind with a wind one, such as uh, wind around you know, 11 to 12 miles per hour, a berserker ball is most definitely sufficient to, to use there. For those that do not want to send it at all, then you go over and play option number two, which is a, more, which is a layup, more conservative way, where the albatross is more difficult, but definitely a good chance. On the second shot, the wedge here, you can see that we, we're we not having a straight tailwind, I'm not gonna say that, but it's gonna be close to that, in my opinion. So we're measuring the club, judging this one to be 60%, so I'm using 60% slider, ball guideline into hole, and I'm playing no spin. Adjustment is made. And uh, if that's not already said, we play 20% elevation, P5 numbers as we're using a power five ball. This ball is super big. I'm trying to center this one in the best of my abilities, but it's always going to overlap the arrows just slightly. Right the pin for beautiful albatross. Hole number four, start with a power five ball and we're gonna find complete minimum distance with the ball guideline going outside the cup on the right. And this is before spin. Once we have added that, we're going to play with one right spin and we're going to play with two back spin. Adjustment here now is one to one and in this angle, we're not gonna do any tweaks whatsoever. So this is just 6.8 rings for 6.8 miles per hour center the ball and hit perfect. What you need to avoid is to have any big 11.59 on because that will pull you further back and that will make you risk missing the rough. However, if you have a straight pull angle, then that's never gonna be an issue. A great left and a great right are just fine. It will still hit the rough, but it will not go in the hole, obviously. Nice little hole in one here on hole number four. Take your game to the next level with our ultimate tournament text guide for the province playoffs uh, tournament an extra 18 hole tournament here this week when we normally do have a nine hole cup just for full transparency we are not doing an ultimate tournament text guide, uh, guide for qualifying round uh, but we will be back in full swing for the opening round for expert and master division now with some extra wind as well there will be a very, very good chance to have a good good spot or good position at the end of the tournament by getting very few drops, which is very rare in Golf Clash as we normally have to drop most of the holes to have a chance in Expert and Master Division. So here it's all about making the least amount of mistakes, getting a couple of drops, and that you will get yourself a chance by doing with our Ultimate Tournament text guide. So sign up. 
Scan the QR code on the screen or use the link patreon.com slash goldclashtom and you can find in the description down below. That will take you to our page where you can choose whatever package that suits uh, the way you want to improve your game and sign up today. Uh, if you do have any sort of questions before signing up or you want to see an example guide, you can always email support at goldclashtommy.com. So free to play, paid ball play, uh, join us for the province uh, playoffs uh, tournament. So option number one, which is the layup here, we're not gonna uh, go aggressive here. Top of plus seven, we're quarterback level nine and level 10. Blue ring by the rough line, three left spin, two and a half back spin. Adjust is one to one plus 0 0.5. So we're gonna adjust 8.3 rings for 7.8 miles per hour. If favor any side pull angle wise, we're gonna favor 11.59. Goal is to get the ball up to approximately 330 yards um, so we're gonna bounce on the fairway and then the ball will slow down and curve down to the left and even if it looks close it's very safe when it comes to this drive uh, sorry not 303 yards was my what I was looking for so let's say 300 to 305 that's perfect Second shot, we're gonna do a check where we do have the bullseye line with the pin. Bottom left of the blue ring to be by the fringe. That's plus one. That's going to be a prox where we're gonna be all the time. 4.8 backspin and one left spin. Now we're going to have to offset on the left. We're gonna use the bottom of the red ring as our marker point. Tip of the ball guideline to go approximately uh, half a green square right of pin. Something like that. You can see that on the visual, obviously. Adjustment is going to be from plus one as our base. We're going to use 28% slider, no elevation, P3 numbers, and that's going to be adding or subtracting 0.1 for every two yards. Uh, perfect ball it is, and we're going to bounce on the fairway up towards the pin. And we're going to get ourselves a nice little eagle on a very tough hole here, such as hole number five. So, hole number six. This is a shot where you can play with any type of P5 ball. I would recommend a ball with a sm uh, with wind three if you have that possibility, but wind. Um, Win 2 and win 1 works as well. Start with the quarterback at the top of plus 11, blue ring by the rough, sorry, red ring by the rough line, swap to a puck and cat bag. 2 left spin, 1.5 top spin, adjust max plus 10 P3, and then we're gonna go half a ball of left curl. The important part here is to try to avoid a great left. A great left will definitely be close to the rough. If you happen to clip the rough with your second bounce and roll out, then you have to just be a bit innovative on the second shot and get yourself to green. And that's why we're packing the cataclysm as well to always ensure that regardless the outcome of the drive, we will still be able to reach. But this is a tough part five, especially in headwind. And we're trying to make this one as simple as possible so we can lock in the eagle with an outside chance of an albatross. Hole number seven is a tough one, especially in tailwind as we go in between clubs. So what I decide to do is to play with quarterback, three back, two right spin, top of the red ring by the fringe, with the ball guideline to go through the hole. Once we have got the ball guideline through the hole, which we haven't got there until now, then we're going to swap to uh, a spin that is 4.5 backspin, 1.7 right spin. It's not ultimate to do a spin swap, but unfortunately that's something we're going to have to do uh, because otherwise we will come in too hot and I don't want to offset from start. For those of you that don't want to do a spin swap, you can add the spins and try to replicate the ball guideline, which I think is very difficult. I just want one minus 0 0.7. 
and we are obviously going to have wind angle tweaks here too. You cannot play this shot if you're not if you have a wind that is above eight miles per hour with a power three ball. So if you're playing with a kingmaker or like a centurion or a kingslayer, make sure that the wind is below uh, like eight miles per hour or below. Uh, otherwise, you will pull into min club. Alright, so for the drive we are actually starting with Apocalypse at the top of plus 6 for Apoc 5 plus, top of plus 12 for Apocalypse level 4. With Apoc 8 we use Blue Ring by the Rough Line. Once we have found our position we are swapping to Big Topper and Thorn Bag because we do want to have all the top spin. This landing position is designed for Big Topper level 4 plus as once you swap to big top level 4 or 5 it's going to open at plus 29 which is max line and then you can see with the more higher level big topper it's going to open up further back which is good I just max plus 10 uh, p5 and then we're going to uh, push up 3 yards after our adjustment 3 quarters of ball in left curl max over power with a slower needle try to hit perfect a great left is to favor over a great right and we want the ball to roll to 430 or better. I'm using a berserker ball here and sure we may could use a ball with less, uh, more wind resistance but I do want to have the wind won as what it does is that it makes the ball being pushed nicely and also second of all makes us adjust further back from the max line which means that we get a slower needle on. The, on the overpower. For the second shot we're going to use one backspin and one right spin always and we're gonna look to have our ball guideline just short of the pin. It's not gonna be into the hole but it's gonna be very close to it and unfortunately I'm not zooming in properly here so it's hard to see but you should be not into the hole just short. Adjust from plus 6 landing position, we have 90% slider plus 40% elevation, P5 numbers, adding or subtracting 0.1 from there. Center the ball and hit perfect and this is going to give you a good chance for a drop on an actual tough par 4. It's a long par 4 this one, and uh, but nicely coming into the hole for an eagle. On the drive we're gonna start with our quarterback level 9 plus incomplete max distance and we're gonna try to uh, make the quarterback to be absolutely centered on the fairway. 5.8 top spin, no side spin whatsoever, so we have swapped to our apocalypse and grizzly bag. Adjust max plus 10 p3 and once we have made that adjustment we're going to center the ball and it go to max overpower and hit perfect. This is with a, a slower needle or completely slow needle if you're playing with a win 4 ball. Win 3 ball might get a little shaky in the higher winds. We do want to bounce into the rough and take this little roll down to get to around 350 to 360 yards. For what I would say here is that if you have the possibility to play with a power 4 or a power 5 ball instead, do that. And the reason for that is that even if you then have a shorter drive, you will still have enough power on the second shot to not be out of range and having to. Yes, and I think that's definitely something that is that should be heavily suggested uh, as we limit ourselves with a power 3 ball. If we don't have to, it's actually a good thing. So... There we have it, the drive for hole number 9. So for the second shot we're going to use our Grizzly and as the lower level Grizzlies do not have as much top spin, we're going to play close to the rough line. So 3.5 top spin, inner ring to be just by the edge of the rough line, ball guideline through the hole. Now we're going to use our landing position plus yardage here uh, and um, we do have plus 3. Plus 3 equals 88% slider with a 10% elevation P4 numbers 
and then we're going to add or subtract point 0.1 from there. We also want to have a favor 59, if anything. What I mean with that is that we should be trying to pull straight, but if it's going to flicker over to any side, it's going to be 11.59, not 12.01. Hits the rough, we're getting it to drop dead center for a lovely albatross here on hole number nine. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching this uh, playthrough for the Province Playoffs uh, Tournament. Another, an extra 18-hole tournament when we are supposed to have a 9 Cup. I say suppose because that's the schedule that we are used to. But like I say in the beginning, we will not be doing an Ultimate Tournament Hex Guide for the Qualifying Round Expert or Master. But we will be back in the opening round for opening round and weekend round content for Expert and Master free to play paid balls and especially with the extra win that you will receive be receiving a guide is going to be super helpful for you to get yourself a good spot in the tournament so if you do want to try out our guides and see for yourself how it will be improving your game scan the qr code here on the screen or use the link that is in the description down below called patreon.com slash clash tommy that will take you to our page with all our packages where you can select for yourself on how and what way you want to improve your game. Thank you once again for watching. I wish you the best of luck in the province playoffs tournament.